Yeah, Joey, just minutes ago, I stepped out of the courtroom for the first day of the trial of George Garza, an Hidalgo County Sheriff's deputy who was accused in participating under a drug conspiracy charge. Now, we heard from three of the four government's witnesses, all whom are co-conspirators in this drug conspiracy ring that also included the Panama unit that we've been covering for the last several months. Now, of the 12 accused in this conspiracy ring, he is the only one to maintain his innocence. Essentially, what these guys did was they would trick drug owners by faking traffic stops with dirty cops, making it look like the drug owners lost all of their dope and then they would sell it and make all the money for themselves. Now, the U.S. Attorney, attorney's burden is to prove that Garza was the deputy conducting these stops. Now, we heard from the two first witnesses today, David Olivares and Fernando Guerra Jr., both whom are not lawmen, just accused and convicted drug traffickers, but neither of them could identify the defendant, George Garza, as a co-conspirator. However, the third witness today, Fernando Guerra Sr., pointed to Garza and identified him as indeed the man conducting these traffic stops. Now, witnesses testified that they performed these stops about 10 times over the last or within 2012 near the intersection of Monte Cristo and Jesus Flores Road in Northeast Hidalgo County. Now, tomorrow, J.P. Flores, the alleged mastermind behind all of this, will be testifying. So until then, we'll bring you the latest on valleycentral.com. Reporting live from the Federal Courthouse in McAllen, I'm Brett Crandall for Action 4 News.